Welcome back. This is Jesse Clark using Affordable Online Resources. Today I'm working with Adobe Photoshop and these are the eight tools that I use pretty much every time I'm inside Photoshop working with the project. Um, these tools help me be efficient and there's keyboard shortcuts and just things you might need to know to work inside Photoshop. They work for me. Hopefully they'll work for you. And here we go. Number one is to zoom in and out of your project. You're simply going to do control plus or minus. And then you can of course use control zero to fit to screen or to snap back to your project. Number two is going to be adding a new layer down here on the right side. You're simply going to do shift control N and that will bring up a new layer. Number three is resizing your image, constraining proportions or not constraining proportions. The new default Adobe program has the constraint proportions built in by default. So when you grab the little handle up here as the um, transform control box are checked off, you'll see the handles. That way if you just drag the corner of it, it will decrease the height and the width and keep the proportions um, constrained. And the old version, you had to actually hold down shift to do this. And now it's the opposite. So if you hold down shift now by default, it will distort the image, whether it's you're adjusting the width or the height. Number four is layer styles. You could simply double click on the layer and it opens up a box that you can adjust all of the layer styles for the that specific layer that you are on. Number five is adjusting the workspace. So let's say you've accidentally screwed up your windows. You can see the tabs. I'm accidentally getting all messed up and I'm getting frustrated. I don't know how to go back to where I was or I cannot find a specific palette that I was working on. Well here you can simply go to Window Workspace. You can see we're on Essentials Default. You can reset Essentials and it will take it back to how you originally started. You can also go in there and create a new workspace. It will save it and you can reset back to that. Number six is running ants. When you're dealing with marquee tool or the lasso tool, you're going to see when selected, you'll see those little moving lines. Those are called running ants. And sometimes you just don't know how to get rid of those. Quick keyboard shortcut for that is control D and that will deselect them and get rid of them for you. Number seven also has to do with the running ants. Let's say you and the and the uh, lasso tool. Let's say you crop out an image and you want to when you click delete, it's actually going to get rid of that selection. However, if I want to get rid of everything around that, I simply go to control plus shift plus I and that will add the parameter running ants, click delete, and that deselects or that deletes everything around the image. So that's actually a really good one to know. Control shift plus I. Okay, the last one, number eight I have, is how to backspace when using the lasso tool, the pin tool, etc. You can see here that I'm drawing using the lasso tool. And if you mess up, you're wondering, well, how do I go back using um, to get rid of the last box that just selected that pixel? 
So if you do that, it's simply just using the, while you're clicking it, just use the backspace button. And it takes away the previous selection you just made so you can start over with that path. So those are my eight tips on how to be efficient in Photoshop and I use these tips all the time. I hope you can get something out of them and we'll see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe below and have a great day.